All right, so it's day three of you being sick, day two being home from school, right? I think her cold has now hit after the fever. So I'm gonna try and find some medicine for her. The problem is, <laughs> this is kind of my mess. I got these two medicine buckets. This is technically not even a medicine bucket in this one. So I gotta figure out how to clean up this cover here in order to find her some medicine. Like I found this one, cold and flu, um, but it's all gone. Stop putting medicine away when it's gone, folks. So I'm gonna get this cleaned out, throw away expired medicines, and then hopefully find something for her. are all the liquid ones I need to go dump out and then throw away the containers. These are all the pills that I'm going to flush down the toilet and that's what we're keeping. So I think we did a pretty good job. Let's put it all away. All right, so here it is all done. I was able to move the breakfast drinks back over here where they belong and keep everything of that sort on the bottom shelf here where the kids can access it. They can make a drink in the morning and they can make their lunches. This is butter because I don't like my real butter container. And then the medicine is up there and the water bottles can be on the top shelf. So everything has its place. I'll show you what's inside that bucket now. So in this box now, I have ibuprofen, cold medicine, daytime, nighttime, multivitamins for the kids and for us, along with some mucinex. And then in this little bucket that I have separate, I can pull it out and access our emergency little packets. Jason puts these in his drinks all the time. I should probably do it for myself. Here, I'll do it for myself. What one do I want? I'm gonna try this one. Do this before my flight tomorrow. See if I can avoid this plague. And then this container has some cough drops if we're down here and need those. I probably am going to take this airborne myself. Kids ibuprofen, some Vicks, some aspirin. These are mouth guards, and you kind of heat them up and frame them to your mouth. Ashley grinds her teeth. Um, just some random sunscreen. And these are all the pills that kind of have come out of boxes. So they're still labeled with what kind they are, and they aren't expired. So just kept them all in one little baggie. So I'd say that's pretty good overall. Meanwhile, this one over here, she's getting the full-fledged effects of the cold. And I did not find any cold medicine in it for sure. So I just gave her some ibuprofen, and looks like we're back to the store. So, it's okay, boo. All right, so Ashley, I, I just got ready to go. Ashley still wants to wear her pajamas, right? And we're gonna go to Costco. She didn't wanna go until I reminded her that they have, what, you want churros? I want ice cream. Oh, she wants ice cream. So, you know, when a little, she's struggling, we'll just walk. Come on, let's go. So she's struggling to kind of eat these days since she's been sick. And so I'm trying to just get any, nutrients I can in her. So, if she wants some dairy, you want some ice cream? Sure. All right, so we are gonna get the house stocked up on food so Daddy doesn't have any excuse to get pizza every night for dinner while I'm gone. Yay. <laughs> I told him the other day, let me find some better light. Okay, that's better. 
So I told him the other day, I said, okay, so I think there's some frozen lasagnas in the freezer and there's some like hash browns. He can make eggs and hash browns and things like that. Or pancakes. Or pancakes. And then I, I named some others. There's some taco meat in the freezer so he can make some tacos, soft tacos or quesadillas, kind of modify it for what kids want. And then I kind of pause and he's like, so yeah, we'll probably just have like mac and cheese. <laughs> Yes, no, no, no. So, I don't know. Maybe he'll surprise us and he'll actually cook dinner, but maybe not. I'm going to prepare it so that he can. So we're going to go to Costco and get stocked up. And then, oh, I might actually look for prescription sunglasses. We have a trip coming up and I need you some sunglasses. Have I've gone like janky putting sunglasses over the top of my glasses, but I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm going to look at Costco and see if they're affordable and see if I can make it happen in time. So, yep. Okay, let's go to Costco. Okay, is that good? Yeah, <laughs> Kind of fun to have you along again, huh? Mm -hmm. During the day, it's kind of like our old times. Kind of like it. You like you always when you like sign me like paper. You like always when like one time when you sign me paper to go to school. You're like I'm not like I don't want you to go to school. You don't want me to. I know. I wanted you home with me all the time. But you're enjoying kindergarten, right? Uh -huh. So we saw your bus driver <laughs> in Costco, didn't we? Yeah, not at school. No, we saw her in Costco, but she got hurt in a in an accident during the snowstorm, didn't she? Yeah. She got hit by, well, she didn't get hit. Her bus got hit by a car on that horrible, horrible snowy day. Which car? Like a bus or? Another car hit their bus. So she's injured and so she's struggling to come back to be their bus driver again but it was fun to talk to her huh told her about your youtube channel and showed it to her was that fun yeah all right this pumpkin's back in bed no temperature he had 97.9 so i'm just gonna let her rest but you gotta lay your head down boo okay all right you rest get feeling better do you want me to bring you some pancakes to nibble on so, I don't know. I feel bad. She doesn't have a temperature anymore. So, I'm just not sure. There's no cold symptoms. There's no anything. Just gotta let it ride out. Jason will have the day off tomorrow. He probably is gonna have a sick, sick kid at home with him tomorrow as well. So, I'm gonna go work on a computer, film one video. I gotta think. Oh, Kaylee called me. Well, Kaylee texted me from school today just a few minutes ago. Her knee has been hurting her and we went over to her aunt's house who is a nurse practitioner to kind of get some advice on her knee and it's really really hurting her she's already gone to the nurse's office yesterday and today at school i think she probably they tried to make her run the mile today so i think that hurt it again it's not her knee it's like behind her knee so we're worried like it's a ligament that's torn or something so amid all my crazy schedule i have an ultrasound scan that i get paid money for well, you'll hear how we, I'll explain that later in another video. But I have that appointment here in like an hour and a half that I have to take Ashley to because she wasn't supposed to be home today when I scheduled it. And, oh no, by the way, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I said ultrasound, but it's like, anyway, I'll have to explain really quick or else everyone's going to think I'm pregnant. It's a company that makes ultrasound equipment and they test the equipment with real doctors and then they test the equipment on like real people with all different kinds of scans. Today, I think mine is a, I don't know what mine is today. They wanted me to do a heart scan the other day, but I couldn't make it. And then they want Kaylee in for a head scan tomorrow in the middle of school, but I, she, I can't take her out of school for it. Um, anyway, so they test the equipment, make sure it's all working fine, and then they pay you for it. So when I get these opportunities to go and get paid, to lay on a hospital bed, basically, 
why not go do it, right? So I have to go do that, but then Kaylee wants me to pick her up from school and take her to urgent care to get her leg looked at. And I feel like the mom guilt, now that I'm gonna be out of town for the for the rest of the week, I kind of feel the mom guilt of needing to take her in and get this figured out before I leave. So it's gonna be a busy night. Anyway, and I have to arrange rides for my other kids to go to their church activities because I won't be home in time. This is just mom life, guys, but I'm also heading out of town tomorrow. So let's just see if I can pull it all together. All right, so we are just finishing up doing the ultrasound scans. They actually did the side of my stomach. So it's gonna be kind of interesting. It's fun to talk to the lady that does it. So now I'm dropping off this little kiddo. She's back to not feeling very well. So I'm gonna get her some Sprite here at home, set her up with her sister in bed. And I have another kiddo to go to urgent care with. So keep on rotating through kids today, I guess. Ashley, I hope you feel better, huh? Probably no school again tomorrow, but uh, daddy will take care of you. So let's go pick up the next kid. Okay, so this is like the worst lighting I could actually have, but I know that Kathy is not gonna let me talk about this within earshot. She's gonna be mad that I'm talking about it inside. So the doctor, when we saw her, she was like, you know, kind of explained like, my daughter feels like she's like overextended her knee and it really hurts, but it's been weeks, you guys. This is like before Christmas that she feels like her knee has been hurting her. She's been begging me to take her in, but I just, I just kept telling her like, you just, keep pulling it you just there's no actual injury there's no anything specific it's, it's gonna be fine and she's fine for like a week or she's fine for two weeks and then all of a sudden it's a problem and so the doctor is telling me and, and Kaylee you know she's like explaining that whole thing she's like yeah it's probably fine for you like you know for a couple weeks and then it really really hurts and the same kind of thing that I've been you know that I just told you and and she's like yeah and I see these you know patients and I just tell them I'm sorry you just tweaked your knee have a good day <laughs> And, and then she like started laughing and she looked at me and she's like, can I guess that that's what you've been telling her? And I was like, kind of. And she's like, turns to Kaylee and she says, you should listen to your mom more. <laughs> anyway, I'm not a doctor. I didn't actually know, but there is a mild bit of fluid built up over her kneecap. And so that's pulling on the tendon on the top of her knee and pulling on the tendon right underneath the kneecap. So we're gonna ice it for an, a week and she got a note to get out of PE and we're gonna wrap it in an ace bandage wrap. And then if that doesn't like completely make it go away, we'll start some physical therapy. I don't think we're gonna get to that point. I think it's just a matter of her needing to stop doing the extraneous activities and just kind of give it a rest for a couple weeks so that she doesn't t keep tweaking it because that is the extra activities that are, are the problem. She needs to just keep walking on it and doing normal wear on it, but not overextending it. So she's not gonna want me talking about this inside. Just wanna wrap this up. I'm really hoping that we don't have anything else happening tonight. So I'm I'm gonna cross my fingers right now and hope that I can end this vlog today. <laughs> Cause I'm leaving in the morning, you guys, and I'm so far behind on what I need to do to get ready to go. That's my goal tonight is to finish packing up, get all ready, all showered, all cleaned up, ready to go tomorrow morning. I'm hoping Ashley goes to bed and she can go to school tomorrow. She has not had a fever all day today, but she kind of wants to spend the day with her dad. Plus, I don't think she's fully, I don't think she has her energy back. She's still struggling to eat full meals. And so I feel bad sending her off to school if she doesn't have a lot of energy. After being sick, it's hard to get all that energy back. I kind of want to give her a freebie, give her a pass. It's kindergarten, like who cares? <laughs> we'll have a good day spending time with her and it'll mean she can come to the airport with us. So if she's with us tomorrow, that's why. I'm gonna end this. I hope you guys are having a good day and I'm excited to go on this little trip of mine. So we'll see you later.